when you know how to play the end game well you generally try to push the games towards the end game and then take it from there hi this is there bagga and today i'll be showing you one of the good end games that i played today now it started off with d4 man and my opponent responds with d5 i went with bishop to g5 open plays h6 trying to push my bishop backwards and i placed it on h4 still trying to make sure that the opponent cannot move uh, e7 uh, to e6 or e5 straight away so opponent loves the bishop to f5 i play e3 there knight to f6 by opponent and now i develop the bishop to d3 asking for bishop trade which my opponent does take and i take back with the queen opponent plays knight to c6 developing the knight uh, and i take on the knight here my idea was after the opponent takes i can now uh, go with queen to b5 which attacks the pawn uh, pins the knight and is attacking another pawn as well uh, opponent plays a rook to b8 and now i play c3 opponent plays a6 i come back with the queen to d3 uh, and now bishop to d6 by opponent of course one side castling rights have been lost uh, because of the rook movement so the opponent is willing to castle now on the king side I develop the knight to f3, preparing to castle as well. Open castles, and now I place my knight to d2, connecting both my knights, and now even opening uh, options of castling either side of the board. Open goes back with the knight to e7, and now I place knight to h4 with the idea of placing it on f5 eventually. Open plays c6. I go with knight f5, trade off the knight. I take with the queen, and now queen comes to c7, attacking the pawn on h2. I went with knight to f3, defending that pawn, uh, and now open places a rook onto e8. I get my queen backwards. Uh, the idea was maybe to put my knight backward again uh, to f5 uh, and attack the pressure. Open goes with c5. I take the pawn here. Open takes back with the queen, uh, making sure the queen is more active now. I went with knight to d4 in the center, uh, again having the ideas of knight f5. Open goes with bishop to e5, and now I cannot do that. It will not be an effective move. So I uh, got the knight backwards onto f3, attacking the bishop. Open plays b5, letting the bishop hang there because after I take open, gets to have uh, a better pawn structure. Double pawns will not be there, and center pawns will be more active. This will not be uh, no longer uh, an isolated pawn, which is uh, it right now. So here I castle, and open gets the rook onto d8. In front of the queen, good idea. I place a3, making sure that my pawn structure is solid here, and then I can maybe move my rook away in the center as well. Queen goes to c7 again, and now I place my queen onto f5, activating the queen, uh, asking open to push pawns as well. So now g6, and now I come back to h3, attacking the h6 pawn. Now king comes up onto g7, and I take on the bishop now because I want to have some movement for my queen as well. Open takes back with the rook, not with the pawn, uh, was a bit of a strange thing. And then I got my rook onto d1, attacking the center pawn. Open attacks the queen, uh, and now again, since my queen is being attacked, I have to be careful that the open's queen is also eyeing the h2. So it will be a checkmate if I place it on the wrong square. So I placed it on g3, asking for queens to be traded. And once I uh, the open takes, I take with the f pawn. I can take with the h pawn as well, but I take with the f. The idea is to open up the rook file straight away. Also, my king will be better moving towards the center. Opponent gets rook to e5, and now I do the rook left to f3. Opponent plays f5, and now I play f h4, making sure the opponent cannot play uh, the pawn forward g5 straight away. Now, opponent doubles up the rook. I go with the king to f2, defending the pawn twice now, thanks to the rook and the king. And now h5 by opponent. Here I place my rook on d4, cutting off the fourth rank, doing a rook lift. Opponent goes with a rook to c8. Uh, the idea for the opponent looks like to exchange the rooks, and I'm okay with that. I just move my king to e2. Opponent gets the rook. I take. Opponent takes back. And if you see, it's a three pawn versus three pawn uh, end game uh, on the king side, on on the queen side already. And if you see on the other side of the board, uh, these pawns are uh, better for black more connected uh, white has also got double pawns just like uh, black has uh, but here uh, my, my my problem is this isolated pawn on the e file but which can be a, a advantage as well in the end i went with a rook to f4 uh, trying to ex maybe exchange rooks but then i thought now if i trade 
my open uh, pawn structure gets better because there will be no double pawns. So do not trade right now. I thought, okay, let me move my king to f3. Here opponent takes and I fix my pawn structure. Now I have four uh, against four, but these are double pawns. Uh, in this position, open moves to f6 uh, with the king. And I thought, uh, what should I do? If I go back, uh, I'm not going to be advancing the pawns anyhow. So I went with e4, open takes. And now my king moves forward to e4. Open moves the king to e6. And I play g3 there, solidifying my pawn structure again. Open goes with f5 check. I had to move the king. King goes to d4. If I go back, then I am allowing space to the opponent. And eventually the opponent will enter my territory and grab the base of the pawn chains. So open now moves to, uh, with king to d7, d6. Again, not letting me come ahead. So the opposition holds with the opponent. Then I played a4, asking for a pawn trade. I'm okay because then I can grab the c4 if the opponent takes. If the opponent pushes, I can still take and then I'll have majority here to push and I can also take the c4 pawn. So that's a good move playing a4 and opponent places king to c6, which allows me now to move to e5. I got the opposition. I can move towards this side, grab these pawns and push for the end game. Opponent places a5 uh, because again, if opponent does take, doesn't solve the purpose because the opponent can only move one step and then I can take with the pawn. Also, the C pawn is solid. Open cannot come in the, uh, the picture as well, thanks to uh, the C3 pawn controlling the dark squares on D4 and B4. So there's no, nothing much open can do. So pushes the pawn onto A5, which I take now. Uh, open takes back. Again, there's nothing much open can do. I went there, grabbed a couple of more pawns, and in this position, open designs. So it was a game where I traded off most of the pieces, making sure my pawn structure while trading is good enough to convert it into a winning position easily at the end. I hope you enjoyed the video. Do let me know your feedback. Keep watching and sharing. Please do subscribe to the channel if you haven't already by now. And I shall see you tomorrow with some interesting and instructive content like always. Thanks for your time. Take care. Bye-bye.